Hello, and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be having a look at a custom database I've been working on for the past few days. Now this database is made from, I've made a team in the database, well, it's a normal world DB2020, but there is, I've made a new team, and that is the Black Spoke Pro Cycling team here. And what we're going to do is we're going to explore the members of the team and a few one-off races first before we actually start our career mode. So the first for the race we have chosen today for our black spoke race is the half gel TT. So this will be highlighting our time trial people of the team. So let's go through time trial. We've got Evnapol, Bevan, we'll put Youngles, Mullen, Martinez, Scully, and Tunes. Now you will notice a few of the stats have been slightly adjusted. So I've upped Bevan's TT because I feel he deserves it. Upped his mountain to back where it was before. Young also has got an increase in hill and mountain. Bringing him back to how he used to be as a young person. Uh, I think Martinez has got a little bit extra TT. Otherwise, same with Mullen. Otherwise everyone else has still got their original stats. So let's begin. So what I want to, to what I did is I also selected World Tour teams for us to vote against. There we go, we got Rowan Dennis, the World Champion, Sir Vendillier, Yui Roscoff, Tony Martin, Matej Mohoric, Victor Kampenarts. Because I wanted to try and see how, even though I've adjusted the stats of the team, we aren't, we aren't exactly overpowered. I mean, evnopol has got pretty high TT to begin with, and Bivin's got decent TT, TT as well. It's a relatively short TT, and after this we might have a look at a classics race, a sprint race, and possibly a hilly race, just to show off the abilities of our team. So it's Tom Squeegins, he starts first. Let's have a look at our start order. We are third team to start, behind Campanats and Dennis. Put that on times two. And let's have a look at the map. So it's just out and back profile, it's not much at all, it's all just pretty much flat. Change the angle. So what I did do is I adjusted the database by adding Black Spoke Pro Cycling, the Continental team, up to World Tour, and I added some riders based on the region and some background. I've been writing for a short story. Now the background involves a New Zealand pro cyclist who got really famous back in the late 90s, early 2000s. After retiring in 2015, he then helped Sean Kelly with his N Post Chain Reaction Squad. After that folded, he retired for a bit. Then in 2019, he decided he wanted to make another pro cycling team. He asked Sean Kelly if he would join him, and together they created the Black Spoke Pro Cycling. So it's a Kiwi team. However, there is also some Irish riders in it too. So Dylan Tunes, he's starting his race, he's got 73 time trial, 74 prologue, plus about a plus one of the day, which gives him 76 time trial, and 74 prologue. So look at that lovely black spoke pro cycling uniform, that's really good. Now I really should be doing this in slow motion, but this is just going to be a short introductory video to our series. Probably want to go about 75, what's the wind for? Which direction is that in? Slight crosswind the whole way. Cool, we'll turn around, check that no one chasing us. Here's where the kind of headwind kicks in, or tailwind, so maybe up to 77. It's a nice pace there by Dylan Turns, going through the first checkpoint, he's fourth, 22 seconds down on Jos van Emden. So don't forget, these are just the best time trialists in our team. So Tunes, he'll also be a domestic in the hills, probably riding for a GC leader, which you may or may not have seen, but we'll show him off in a different episode. I think Tunes is the only Belgian in our team. We'll have to double check. 78, here he goes, crossing the line. Bit too early there, second place. Behind Jos van Emden, that's good. Who's that Primoz Roblox? Matthew Mohorch. 
So since I did pick and choose riders from other teams, a few teams are a bit rider, a few riders less, and the riders from Black Spoke who were not included in this Black Spoke team, so the likes of Luke Mudgeway, Hayden McCormick, and Aaron Gate, they've all gone back to the original teams. So Tom Scully, I have not changed any of Tom Scully's stats, so he already had 70 flats, so he's 72 today. 73 time trial and 75 prologue. Good old Tom Scully. So there are quite a few Kiwis in this team, as I said. I think there's about six Kiwis in the team. Today in this race we'll just have a look at Bevan and Scully. Now Scully will also be a Cobble domestic. Talking back to those riders who we took out of uh, Black Smoke. So Luke Mudgeway went to Bridge Lane, I'm pretty sure. Skelly's personally a good time. Sixth place there. 76 looks like a good effort for him. Um, Hayden McCormick went to Hagen's Bermond's Axion, because we took one of their riders. And Aaron Gate went back to Evo Pro Cycling, where he was last season. Eighth place for Skelly, who's beating us now. Josh Jesha Sutherland. Okay. It looks like Ryan Mullen's about to start. Now, Ryan Mullen, he is, of course, Irish. And he's there as part of our contingent for... Uh, what is it? Uh, Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly recommended we signed Ryan Mullen, so we did. There he is in his Irish champs jersey. Now, I will look at creating some jerseys for our Black, Spo Black Spoke Cycling team. Ryan Mullen, only thing I changed in him is I changed his TT and Prologue up by one each. Because he was good back in the old days, and I suppose with Sean Kelly being a, being the coach of the team, he will be able to get a greater result. So that's Ryan Mullen. Tom Leeser in front of him, Ben King behind him. Now what am I looking at doing in this career series? Hopefully ending the first season, winning some races with some New Zealand riders, some Irish riders, just having a great deal of fun. Mullen comes in fourth, one second behind Tunes, that's pretty good. Rolling back, so we got Danny Martinez starting next. Now, Danny Martinez is the Colombian time trial champion, I think. Or was it not actually didn't yeah he is a Colombian time trial champion there we are that jersey looks pretty beautiful we'll probably just add a logo on it and get that going but otherwise no uh, Martinez what did I change I think I upped Martinez's time trial as well because uh, he did win the Colombian time trial champs twice so there's Martinez <laughs> there. He, he could be a leader in the smaller stage races, and I think he'll be a domestic for the Grand Tours. Yes, so Black Spoke Pro Cycling. How's Martinez doing? Fifth through the first checkpoint. Better energy use there. He's four. Beats Mullen. Coming back, we got Bob Young, who's the next rider of our squad to start. Simon Gishka. Douglas Court Nielsen, Leonard Hofstede, and Bob Youngles, the Luxembourg champion. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what, like I said, what I did is I upped his mountain, upped his uh, time trial, I think, and left everything else the same. Because remember, Youngles did win the youth classification at a grand tour. So the aim of him being in this team is a domestic and a cobble racer. So he will lead the cobbles for our squad. And there he is, first of the first by nine seconds, being Jos Empton's time. There's a bit of energy back down to 76, I think, for the moment. Probably went a bit too hard at the start, maybe 75. So he, well, oh, Filippo, Filippo, Filippo Garner beat us great. Oh, second. Justin Emden, we lost all that time again, and Filippo Garner, yeah, smashes our time, great. Okay, um, yeah, so him being, so Youngles being the team is domestic for the 
probably for the hills. But yeah, for the hills, the, the classics, and he's a just decent time trial to have in there. Same with the Ibnapol here, he'll be domestic, or even just the same as Martinez, he'll be a, possibly a shorter stage race contender. Otherwise, a domestic for the Grand Tours, especially probably the Tour or the Vuelta, where they both have team time trials. So Remco Evnepol, the Belgian champion. We need to make a Belgian champion for that too. He's first, beating Ghana by two seconds. Can he keep it up? We'll need to drop him back again because we stuff today in front of him, George Bennett. Now. You're probably going to ask yourself, why didn't I put Bennett in my New Zealand cycling team? He didn't fit the team as much, uh, uh, really. He didn't really fit the squad. Like, I got uh, kind of bored one night and I created this team on a piece of paper. And I was like, hey, why don't I put this to pro cycling manager? So I did. It was a New Zealand based team with the aspect would be that every rider in the first Grand Tour must be wearing a National Championships jersey. So in one of the other races, you'll see what riders we have for that. Otherwise, Evnapol, second best time. We keep going too hard at the start. So we'll go six with Bevan. There he is there. And is, where is, that's right, Bevan's not the time trial champion. He was in 2019, but however, not in 2020. He's got the New Zealand armbands on, and look at that, the Southern Cross on the shoulder. The detail on these shirts is amazing. So Bevan, he could almost do the same as maybe Evnepol. Probably not, his uh, his TT is, his uh, mountain and hill are not the best. So I upped his TT by a bit, fourth in the world champs. And he did he did have a stomach bug kind of this year, so he couldn't compete too often. And his mountain, I upped it again, because that's where it was in in last year's database. Fourth place. Okay, who's behind us? Cabinets and Dennis. So we are about to get thrashed because oh, Cabinets. Just in front of us and Dennis. He's gonna smash a wonderful time, isn't he? Yep. Look at that. Five seconds ahead of everyone. Now we can get a negative split on Bevan and we can increase to seventy nine. So Bevan he also increases sprint and acceleration because if you look back in the back of his career, he was originally a sprinter, an all-rounder. This time trial just adds to that. Oh, went too hard again. A slight hit at the end that buggers me. Oh, Bevan sets the best time. But I think Campanats and Dennis will take the cake. No, nope, Campanats, Dennis will definitely. So you're probably asking why I didn't take any other better riders. I didn't want to be an... Oh, oh one second! Fuck it! Oh, two seconds. It's unlucky though. Could have got our first win with Black Spoke Cycling. That's pretty bad. But it does see that show that we're up there with the best. So we're not the best, but we are up there. Yeah, Black Spoke, we won the best overall because I took all my time trialers. The AI probably took other bits. Other people, like if you look down the bottom here, you'll see, yep, Confidence took Louis Engel Matt, Mark Cavendish is here, Milano, Halverson, Brahan, yeah. So we did pretty good. So that's the time trialists in our Black Spoke Pro, well, actually, not Black, yeah, Black Spoke Pro Racing, not Pro Cycling Academy. Yes, I didn't want to copy the name, and um, we're not going to be an academy, we're a world tour team. So this is part one of the introduction to our squad. See you in part two.